Hello crafty friends and welcome to today's clean and simple card making video. Today I'm going to make this This Is Love card for you using a fern die and some frame dies. So to start with I have a piece of mixed media paper here and some Catherine Pooler inks and I'm using mixed media paper because the Catherine Pooler inks blend really well on it. I've got polished apricot and clay mask. I think these are all from the Spa collection, which are slightly more muted than the Party collection colours. And I'm blending them over this whole piece because I want to do some die cutting from it and I want to get some variation. So I started with the polished at the top, then I added the clay mask in the middle area and then a bit of apricot at the bottom. And I'm just going here for a rough blend. And my intention was at this point to add a bit of texture with stamping over the top of this colour. So it really didn't need to be a perfectly beautiful blend. I was looking for something fairly textural, I think is probably the right way of putting it. So I just went in with each colour, then added a bit more here and there where I felt was necessary. To do my stamping I used a linen textured stamp. This is just a silicon stamp, it was very reasonably priced from Amazon I think actually. And I spritzed some water on the stamp, so I'm not stamping with ink, I'm stamping with water because these Catherine Pooler inks are water reactive, if you put water on them that will lift the colour off. So I stamped with water over the whole area and then blow dried it with my hair dryer and that gave a lovely textural appearance. Next I used two rectangle frame dies and one square frame die to cut some pieces from my inked cardstock. These are great little dies, they cut a stitched frame but you can also use the bit in the middle and that's exactly what I did. I wanted to have two rectangles and a square that were solid in the middle and had the stitched frame around the outside. And to keep the frame and the rectangle together, I just glued both parts for each shape onto a bit of scrap paper and then cut them out so the frame stayed around the shape in the middle. Once those were all cut out, I set about arranging them on the front of my card. I've got a stitched rectangle panel of smooth white cardstock on the front of my card. And the card blank I think is about four by six inches. Once I'd settled on an overlapping arrangement, I used some matte gel medium, which is my current glue, to glue them down where I wanted them. Because my pieces were overlapping, I did need to do some structural work. So I just added a couple of layers of card underneath the shapes that needed propping up to keep them level. So I was wondering if you were to make a card like this with these pieces, what color scheme would you go for? Do let me know in the comments. For my focal image, I chose a fern die to create a copper glitter cardstock fern die cut. I glued that onto my little cluster of shapes over towards the left hand side. So it's slightly offset and I think that works with the way that the die cut kind of curves. It looks nice set off to the side like that. For my sentiment, I chose a This Is Love stamp in a typewriter font. I stamped it straight on to one of the rectangles, but I didn't like the way it looked, so I stamped it onto some 
card and then die cut it out with a stitched rectangle die and I much preferred that so I popped that over the initial stamping and to add a finishing touch to my card I used copper penny nouveau drops to add three little drops to each of the rectangular slash square shapes and I think that brought everything together and that's this card finished. I do hope you've enjoyed the video and it's given you another idea of something to do with the supplies that you have in your stash. If it has and if it inspires you to create something do come along to my Facebook group and share a photo of your card. I would really love to see it as would everyone else. It's a really lovely supportive group so do come along and share your makes there. Right thanks for watching I will see you very soon. Bye for now.